one of the, the, the greatest impacts on student learning is, is the instruction. And so we have um, brought in, um, hired six of our teachers to work during their conference period as instructional coaches. And so they will uh, go into classrooms. Uh, we will um, work with the administration and come up with best practices for lessons. And then we'll, we'll share that with the teachers and, and, and do kind of a brainstorming roundtable kind of activity to come up with best practices and, and talk about uh, what's the best way to instruct students to increase learning. Our plans are to um, begin the school year as normal and uh, to open school on time. Um, hopefully the, the budget will come through and we'll have the money to have a full school year. Uh, but we um, have, do not have specific plans. Uh, we'll have to wait and see what the state does before we make a decision on our opening or closing of the school. There are a couple projects we are currently working on. Um, we have a, uh, an aging boiler system that we are looking at. Uh, we're going to be bringing in a consultant to see what is the uh, best way to replace that uh, boiler. Uh, we have an aging building, parts of it over 50 years old, that we are going to be working on to um, improve and upgrade um, and just maintain the building to keep it going as long as we can. We have brought in a uh, kitchen management company that is uh, going to manage our kitchen and we're hoping to offer a wider variety of food for the students, healthier options, um, including breakfast, which we've never had. Um, and with hopefully the increased um, purchase of the students in the lunches, that that'll help lower some of the losses we've had in the kitchen. Um, we've had a couple of retirements in our custodial staff, and so we've brought in, um, instead of custodians, we brought in uh, just cleaners.